I like to build stuff. I've always liked to build stuff. My team uh, at Biosense, a startup I co-founded with my doctor and engineer friends, has built a technology called TouchB, uh, which can do blood testing of hemoglobin without pricks, without needles. I believe this is going to democratize healthcare. Those are two big words. I don't know what they mean. <laughs> in fact, in 2009, I was even more clueless. I had absolutely no idea what's going to happen next. I was, in fact, busy trying to finish off my PhD, which was in a completely unrelated area of how people interact, contributors interact, how art articles are formed in Wikipedia, trying to figure out how quality emerges from this system. I was also building something called the Copenhagen Wheel, which is just a really beautiful, beautiful electric bike at a lab at MIT called Sensible City Lab. I was lucky enough that I visited Mumbai, my house, back for, uh, for a vacation. So at that time, I was planning a road trip. I, I visited a place called Parol, about two hours north of Mumbai. This is a place where my friend Abhishek Sen was interning. He's a doctor there. That's his actual photograph. <laughs> so Abhishek actually made me wait. He was out there in Parol delivering a baby. I was waiting, and when he did emerge, he was ashen-faced. He told me that there had been two deaths. The mother and child both had died. The reason he told me was something called postpartum hemorrhage. He explained this meant severe internal bleeding. What was really shocking for me was that he said that this is entirely due to undiagnosed anemia. Now, anemia, I'm, I'm an engineer, but even I knew that anemia is something which is not supposed to be fatal. It is something which, for, for which the cure is known. I mean, folic acid, iron tablets, very cheap, affordable cures exist to control anemia. So why was this woman dying? I mean, uh, it was completely preventable. You, you, I had five minutes away from there. I had this center, government center, which was distributing subsidized iron tablets. So the whole nature of this thing completely shocked me, and I knew that there had to be a way to prevent this. My mom is a pediatrician, and I asked her. She told me that this is how you would typically test for anemia. Take a blood sample and run it through a machine called a Coulter counter. Uh, this is a $10,000 machine which was available in Mumbai. It's also available here or in any part, in, I guess, in Europe and most cities in the world. But this is not available in Parol. Also, that woman who is operating the machine, the technician, is not available in Parol. Now, <laughs> this... This struck me as, you know, I, I, I love to fix things. I wanted to fix this. I, I got a friend of mine, an engineer, and three other doctors. Abhishek joined the team. And we wanted to solve this, this problem. By this time I step down from here, there will be 10 people who would have lost their lives to a completely, completely preventable problem. Now, let me take you back to Parol, right? You saw the woman there, who, the nurse. In India, this is called the Asha worker. It's essentially a village health worker, a matron. She is really the center of the healthcare system. Public healthcare runs on the ASHA worker, not the doctor. Now, we knew we had to design something which she could use. We knew it had to be these three things that the machine had to have. We knew it had to be something which had no needles, no pricking, so it would have adoption, it would not have you know, uh, medical waste, all those problems. It had to be simple enough for that woman ASHA worker to use. And thirdly, it had to be something which she could carry in her kit. She goes village to village doing screening. We thought we could build it, uh, so uh, we, we built it. And uh, <laughs> but, but it didn't work. <laughs> so we built it again, and we did, we did this 32 times. <laughs> but uh, I'm very excited to tell you that last year, we did build it. It works. And I have it here in my purse. So this is a machine called the Touch Me Quick. What it does is it measures my hemoglobin, oxygen, and pulse rate. I put it on my finger, switch it on. 
And in about 20 seconds, it will give me on the little screen here a value of hemoglobin, oxygen saturation, and heart rate. This will help ASHA workers diagnose anemia at the point of care. <laughs> I'll explain a little bit about how it works. You might have seen a little light inside of it. In fact, there are three lights in there, three wavelengths of light. And uh, we essentially pass light right through the tissue and from understanding how much of it is transmitted, how much of it is scattered, and how much of it is absorbed, we can figure out how much hemoglobin is there in blood. And this is something which is based on a principle called photoplethysmography. We are actually really, really excited about what else non-invasive techniques like this will be able to crack in the future. One of the things which my intern here, uh, Pritesh, built is a mobile application which can now send all this data anywhere it wants to go. There's a bunch of very exciting stuff which we are doing. I would love to you know, uh, tell you a little bit more about it. But fundamentally, you know, uh, uh, what I believe is that the map behind of me is called, you know, basically the map of anemia. It's the death rates caused by anemia globally. You'll notice, of course, that there are hot spots, South Asia, Africa. My business plan is very simple. I'm just going to sell these to every clinic in the world. <laughs> right? That's a simple one-line business plan. And by the time I'm done in 2020, when the WHO publishes the data again, this is going to be the map of anemia. <laughs> Thank you.